So these are sediment cores taken from the area around the volcano just after the eruption, and they sample the top 70 centimetres of the seafloor. Four of them form a transect uh, from right next to the volcano to almost 100 kilometres away, and we can pick up the products of the volcanic eruption in all of them. The other two are taken at the areas where the seafloor cables were broken, and again in both of those we can see the same volcanic deposit. So if we look at just one of the cores, for example, this one that was taken 60 kilometers away from the volcano, you can see the sediments that existed before the eruption. They're these beige ones, and they may also contain records of previous activity in the area. Then there's this really abrupt change. Now, even 60 kilometers away, we're seeing relatively coarse material, this dark material that's produced by the volcanic eruption. One of the other things that's interesting about this core is that you can see multiple pulses of this dark material. Now this may represent changes in the conditions in one flow or multiple flows coming through the same area. Then right at the top, we see the finest material right at the end of the eruption settling out. So that's a combination of eroded material, stuff that's been lofted and ash. Here at the National Oceanography Centre, we benefit from having some world-class instrumentation, which allows us to analyse cores such as these that were taken offshore from Hunga Volcano. We have instruments which allow us to understand what the geochemistry is within deposits, so in this case, we might be able to link to the sources of volcanic flows. We're able to image inside the cores using x-rays to give us unprecedented detail as to what the internal structure of these deposits are. And by bringing all of these different instrumentation and these different observations together through this project, we've been able to determine for the first time what the nature of the flows that broke the cables offshore Honga Volcano was. We see dense and coarse lumps of volcanic material which were transported at fast speed across the sea floor. Further away from the volcano we see evidence of the pre-eruption deposits, the deposits that were laid down for maybe hundreds or thousands of years before the eruption happened, and then a sudden change as this flow surged across the sea floor, changing the sea floor entirely.